Right now, as you can see, we are in Kisauni. Kisauni, or you can call it Mlaleo. And today I'll be walking along this road, showing you what happens during the morning. A lot of people know this road as very dangerous, but I told you I'm gonna do a video about it, and I'm using my phone still. Those are kids crossing the road so that they can go to school. So a boy man came and killed itself. When you go online and search about Pisaoni or Mlale, you're gonna get a lot of different bad reviews about this place. And I really wanted to visit to visit this place and record about how it looks. During the morning you'll find some people who deliver the bread and also milk, like this one here, to shops. There are like suppliers. They get the milk from a big place, then they supply to different shops. Because in this place, people don't love going to supermarkets. So the shops are the supermarkets. So this is the old Mombasa Malindi Highway. It was, in fact, not the old, this was the first one to be constructed for people to use while going to Malindi or going to Mombasa and it was renovated some years ago and it, it looks very nice there's a mosque here i don't know which mosque is it so right now we are heading to Bari Sheba Fayaz Bakery this is one of Mombasa best bakery you can find bread or come and buy cake and they have different branches in different areas and i really really love their bread because it's very very tasty Comment below if you have tested any kind of fires thing like me. If you live in Mombasa, obviously you have you have ever tested such bread. The funny thing about the coast area, houses are used as advertisement classes. For example, you can see this building is painted Omo. So everybody sees that that Omo or I don't know. I don't know if they pay the owner or what they do you can see that building behind me it's painted with a dollar dollar is uh, the cooking flour here in kenya and i guess that's a cheaper way of advertising i don't know see the home i know a lot of you people know this building especially if you live in kisaoni right now we are in by reshable this is one of the most famous places. Currently, people are going to work. Some are using the matatu, some are using the tuk-tuks. Whichever you choose. Right now, guys, you are in Barishebo stage. That road, I think, it heads to Mshomoroni. And we are from Kisauni. We are heading to... After right now, we are in Barishebo. We are going to Wandoni. Or what you people mostly known know as Wandoni uh, Sunlight, yeah, yeah, Sunlight Stage. The area of Kisauni has a lot of Muslim people, all the coast, the coast people, not the people from other places. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean those people from the coast. And it is highly, extremely populated. I don't know if you get me when I say that. A lot of people living in Mombasa, majority of them stay in this side of Kisauni. The people who live in Kisauni, make sure you give this video a thumbs up guys. Because it's not easy recording in this side, I must be careful of my phone here. And also, take a good look at the surroundings. Wow. Yeah, last, last time people complained about the frame of the video, right now I'm trying my best so that you can see my face and other stuffs. You people have heard bad things about this area of Kisauni, but I can assure you that this area is not that bad. Because if it was that bad, you couldn't be seeing people living in this area. But you see, there's kids going to school, uh, people going to work. 
people opening their shops there are plenty plenty of shops at this area and if you say this place is not good yeah every place is not good every place has its own has its own uh, disadvantage i guess that's my point man every place has its own disadvantage it's just you be careful take care of yourself always be keen where you're going and that's all that's the important thing you need to do because every place in this world is dangerous yeah very very dangerous don't forget to give this video a thumbs up <laughs> that's called from my next point you know guys this area the road is not that uh, wide and a lot of people i told you in my other video that a lot of people avoid uh, using this road it's because of the matatu drivers the matatu drivers man they are somehow reckless and people avoid it especially private car they decide to use the mtamboni road but as you can see people are using it there's a lot of private car like this too coming see that and a nissan note and the best thing with this uh the best thing with this uh this road the bumps are well constructed so we don't have any kind of problem uh crossing the bumps especially if you have a small car so that's it right now we're approaching this place called mwandoni or the sunlight i'll show you why it's called sunlight See that guys that's a coffee shop whenever you walk around along this road you see such chef selling some some coffee yeah selling some coffee so actually right now we are in that place called Wendoni or sunlight as you can see that building right there is also advertising sunlight that's why since uh long 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 time ago it has been called the sunlight because of that building guys man this area man Ooh, it ain't that good let's do it what could possibly go now so what i'm telling you guys is that right now we are in sunlight as you can see that sunlight and we are heading to barisheba not barisheba bakarani right now we are going to Bakarani and as I told you about Fayaz, there is another baking shop right here not baking shop but baking company of Mombasa I guess it's all found all over Kenya that's super love man this is a super love they have also sweet bread because I tested all the breads I guess all the breads are sweet it's not that I'm advertising about a single a single uh, oh so noisy not that I'm advertising about a single company of selling bread, but I just love all of them. Yeah, bread is bread. <laughs> Unless you're talking about other stuffs of Mombasa like Mahambri and Mahambri Kaimati, those stuffs of Mombasa, you can see them there at Kef. I don't know what it's called, Barbora's Kitchen. I don't know, but they are selling some nice snacks which a lot of Mombasa people love eating in the morning with kahawa or chai rangi <laughs> make sure you give this video a thumbs up guys we are in the hoods of Kisauni nobody has ever recorded a video in this area I'm the only guy who is doing it so I'm so proud of myself <laughs> wow so we are heading to Bakarani Bakarani Right now we are in a, we are we're close to a bank or I should say an hospital I don't know yeah I guess it's a bank and we are heading to the bank right there now that we're going to get some cash but we are walking along the Sauni road so and by the way guys if you have noticed if you have noticed something they have very beautiful colorful matatus 
with very tuned uh, horns. I, I think you've heard of that. Yeah. Let me show you what goes on in front there. Wow, look at this. What is coming? It's called a Manyanga. These guys are found in Nairobi only. But it's really funny. One here inside Kisauni. Wow. Currently, I don't know where I am, but I know that I'm heading to, to Bakarani. If you're watching this video and you're from this area, what part of Kisauni is this? Wow. So we're heading to that hospital which I'm gonna show you. Then we enter we enter Bakarani. After entering Bakarani we go to uh Mtopanga. From Topanga we go to Ratna, then we finish with we finish with Bamburi. You see that road entering there? I guess it goes all the way to Mshamoroni. But hey guys, if you want me to do a video about Mshamoroni, leave a comment down there and I'll be happy to do so. Okay. We're still walking. <laughs> okay, this is the hospital which I was talking about. It's called uh, Beyond... Uh, okay, let me come close. Yeah, Beyond Hope. Beyond uh, Scope, uh, I'm not getting Beyond Scope Hospital. Care you can give. Okay, you can believe in, yeah. Care you can believe in. It's a nice hospital. But hospitals are just hospitals, nothing more. There's some hardware here, the cycle drivers. But there's something which I really, really love about Kisauni is this walking path you see this on the other side they also have and there is drainage on the other side so these people are catered all about very very well and the mp i guess i should say the mp <laughs> the mp or member of parliament of this area has really really tried really really tried so as you, as you can see ahead i don't know if you can see that mosque appearing there there is where we call the place Bakarani, Bakarani, and we're heading to that. And also, guys, in this Kisauni Road, there's a lot of these mini, uh, mini petrol stations. You know why there's this a lot of mini, mini uh, petrol station or gas station or whatever you want to call them? It's because there's a lot of public transport, the matatus and tuk-tuk, and. They need a refill every every trip, I guess. So it's a nice business. So if you are in Kisauni and you have some cash and you want to open a, open a business, that's a business idea I've given you. So, so make sure you try it. Maybe it will be profitable to you. Yeah. People going to school as usual I'm recording this video early in the morning <laughs> I love the how peaceful these places in Mombasa look looks like in the morning cause you know we are in Mombasa and people don't like wake up in early in the morning that's much that's why you see the in case you're, you get, you're saying this place is populated oh my god <laughs> if you visit this place during the evening or at the noon whoo you love it man because there is a lot a lot of people and talking about that we are actually in Bakarani I'm so excited man to do this video because I, I really wanted to do it for a very very long time and there's this cafe here I don't know the name of the cafe but it's called Bak Jicho Pevu Jicho Boy or Jicho Boy let me, let me see <coughs> it's, co it's called Jicho Boy Hotel So guys at the Jicho Boy Hotel, they sell a lot of 
snacks. Mombasa snacks. As you, can, as you know, the Biazikarai, the Kaimati things, and a lot of stuff, man. So, if you are around Mombasa and you need to taste the Swahili things, make sure you come to Bakarani to enjoy such such things, yeah. You get so that's Bakarani, and let's go along. In fact, there is a sort of a a, a valley here. Let me show you. I don't know if it's called a valley or what. You people are gonna correct me. <laughs> you see? We are heading to a place called uh, Topanga. Yeah. Topanga. I guess we should go this side. The road is clear. Woo. So, guys, don't mind the uncleanliness here. Just mind about the. The road here and nice stuff. There's a lot of police people, man. I need to stop recording. I guess the police people are uh, I had to maintain the the traffic jam man because there is a lot a lot a lot of car and if they are not there people overtake recklessly. You see? That's why. Somebody has just been stopped. You guys know who Sonko is? Sonko has a house going this side. Going to that 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 side there. You find uh, Sonko's house. So, guys, I was telling you about those people who supply bread. I just found one here in front of me. Let me show you. There it goes. And some of the people who usually ride those bicycles with the, with the bread. Wow. Man, a lot of cars are blocking my view of the bread guy. A lot of tuk-tuks, a lot, a lot of tuk-tuks, man. Some lying down, some operating, I don't know. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Look at that super bike, man. Ooh. Oh my god, what's that? And it looks nice. Nice bike. Wow. So we are going to... In fact, currently we are in Topanga. And this is the postal office of... The postal office of this side. It's called them Topanga postal office wow but it's very very old as you can see how it looks like very very old yeah you can see there i'm chopanga 8111 save postal postal kenya wow look at this building here oh man people are waiting for transport man matatu you can see those people they are waiting for for transport to go to work and I pre I, <laughs> man I don't know but I usually think that Kenya need to, to work on the public transport because a lot of people waste a lot of time both in the morning and the evening waiting for waiting for transport to take them to work and back home. So when there's a lot of people, that means the the matter to become few people stay 
on the stage or stand for a very long time waiting for for public transport. So guys, uh, I told you uh, we are in Chopanga and this stage is called the Mwembeni stage. There's two types of Mwembeni. There's Mwembeni for Bamburi Mchambo and there's Mwembeni for this side of Chopanga. And <clears throat> okay. This is one of it. It's called Mumbeni. After Mumbeni, we are going to Anwar Rally. A place called Anwar Rally. Let's go to this other side. Anwar Rally. Okay. Those are found in Mombasa only. That tree, that mango tree, has a lot of mangoes. Don't know why people, they ain't harvesting. Harvesting it. So that's called the annual rally stage. And this is called the corner club. You can see there's our friend there. Who is from enjoying himself. <laughs> so guys, this is called the annual rally stage. The annual rally cars usually park at this area. Yeah. And each stage you come across, you'll find people waiting for public transport as usual. And there's a mosque also. Where go? So let's go ahead. <laughs> there's like an accident here that occurred. I don't know. Okay. What are you two about now? Okay, look at this. This is a breakdown. lose the brake so I guess when the driver saw that he decided to take it uh, away from the road and he end up he ended up in the ditch the, the conductor just explained it to me it's just that I wasn't recording yeah. okay let's move on it's life man finally guys we are in Ratna See this road here. If I go this road, I'll exit at the Naivas Bamburi. But I don't want to go through this. That other side, I need to go through this so that I can show you a place called uh, Stage Yapaka. Then we finish the video in Bamburi. The Bamburi is the center where it connects both uh, cars coming from Kisauni, cars coming from. Uh, Mtambo and cars coming from Mutange or Kiembeni. By the way, if you feel you're enjoying the video, why not give it a thumbs up? Please like the video and also click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell icon for more such videos. And maybe you can go and check my other videos. Maybe you may also be interested to check them out. Yeah. Here in Mombasa in the morning, you find people cooking the Askarai, Mahamri selling them to people like uh, this lady which with, uh, with the data she, she's cooking the Yazi Karai man we are in stage Yapaka guys this is called the stage of Yapaka I don't know why they decided calling it stage Yapaka in English it's called uh, 
the the cut stage <laughs> i don't know why they decided to to call it that way yeah. this is the bamburi community police station you see stage your parker right there stage your parker i guess when you go this other side but we're not going inside yeah. So guys, from where I am right now, towards where I'm going to, this area is called Bamburi. This is the Bamburi stage, or you can call it any name that people have given it, but the main name of this area is Bamburi Mwisho. Bamburi Mwisho. If somebody tells you, oh man, I'm in Bamburi Mwisho, but there the sign it's when it's coming out. When somebody tells you I'm in Bamburi Mwisho, this is the place which they're talking about. Guralik, Guralik, Guralik. Yeah, man, we've come to the end of the video. That's it, man. It has been a very, very long walk. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a very big thumbs up. Share it to the friend. And also, don't forget to subscribe. So... <laughs> Bye from your boy man came and killed in Bamburi we show.